Gary, Matt Bowers obviously signed his, uh, his new contract extension. Have you, have you noticed any difference in him immediately? I mean, most players would ask if, if they've grown an inch or two. Yeah. Um, I've just noticed that he's, he's growing up, um, as in his personality. Um, he's been around the first team now for some time, which is what he needed and which is what we needed. Um, just to get that experience of being comfortable around professionals uh, and around first team players. Um, and so that's been vital experience for him because he's got all the tools, that's for sure. Um, and uh, at the right time, we'll, we'll ask him to show the public exactly what he's got. And are the negotiations going on with other players? I'm not expecting you to name names, but or was he just one special case that needed to really feel like he belonged? Well, they're all special cases, but I know what you mean. Um, I think it was very good for him to know that another year was going to be put on the end of his contract. Um, it, it shows that uh, we're, he, he still is a work in progress, and we spoke to him and his dad, he was happy. He wants to be at the club, he's been here since he was 13 or something. Um, and uh, and he wants to get into that first team when he when he knows that he's ready. And when he'll know that he's ready when I say, go on in, there you go. So, um, yeah, we just wanted to give him that confidence that, um, he, 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 so he didn't get nervous towards the end of the season about whether he was signing another, another contract or not last couple of games you've conceded early on is that just coincidence or is there something there that you know you've got to put a stop to well we've got to put a stop to it of course um, but uh, what Barnett's goal was in the first minute was it or second minute or something um, and uh, the last one was in the second minute and I don't think there's anything that you're doing that that you, you know, if you, you're letting goals in, the f if it's like the first 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes or something, and they've laid siege to your goal, you can say there's a massive problem here. Um, but uh, when it goes in the first or second minute, you know, it's, they come out of the dressing room, rearing to go, they want to fight, they want to keep the team out. We, we went, we was going to go longer uh, to make sure that they didn't get in amongst us. Um, early on and then uh, all of a sudden he kept in God bless him um, when he creates a free kick there's a foul in the middle third which we don't really need the foul there it's just in his enthusiasm to get on the ball and tackle them um, and then they put in a free kick that's, that gets their goal there's, you, know, you can do something about it you can mark the fella and make sure the fella who reads it don't let it in and you can stop free kick going in, in in the first place but obviously as coaches and managers we talk, talked about that all night Friday all week um, but that's how it was but we then spent the next 87 minutes uh, obviously then you're chasing the game a little bit but there were certain parts of that game that were, were okay I thought we did okay and we certainly dictated the play on lots of occasions and uh, you know, other people when you haven't got a result somewhere start thinking that you haven't played as, as well in patches as sometimes I think we have and sometimes and I've got to put that over to the players for their confidence that uh, you know, we was a couple of goals short of not a bad performance I didn't think it was a, a boring performance which some people say I mean it certainly shows the character in the team to twice come back from a goal down and get something but I suppose it also just shows the importance of the first goal doesn't it if you can do that then you've got so much better chance of going on and winning games yeah, um, that's it. Uh, when when we go a goal up, we, we you know every any team that goes a goal up has that uh, freshness and that enthusiasm, you know, because you know the opposition have got to score two to beat you. But uh, and not generally, we you know we, we're quite comfortable at one nil up, and so it'd be great for a change because obviously the last two games have been one nil down. Uh, we went one nil up at Mansfield and played well until the shenanigans of the sending offs and not even the first sending off we were still playing well with 10 men but once we went down to 9 men then it became a bit of a problem so um, that showed you know, that if, if you can get that 
first goal, your team plays with a little bit more confidence and, um, and command. You lost 3-1 at Vale Park back in October. Tom Pope got a couple that day. I mean, he was just coming into a, a rich run of form at, at mm. the time. Uh, I suppose the timing of when you play a team can be quite important. Not You've got to play them twice a, a season anyway, but the timing is, is the luck of the draw. Um, is, is he the main threat again, if you like? He's definitely a threat, and he probably is their main threat. I mean, on that day, that was the manager's first home game, and uh, everybody was up for it, the crowd was up for it, and um, and I thought they played very, very well that day. Tom Pope, in particular, played very, very well that day. And uh, he, he is a good player, and if you allow him his game, to play his game, then he can be very dangerous, but uh, he's not the only one, of course. And any, I keep saying, any team in this division have got their dangerous players. And uh, those dangerous players that, that score goals or make goals or stop goals, you know, they're the ones that can be quite a big difference uh, in, the, in where you are in the league. Now, at the moment, both our teams would feel, at times, we've looked like being top half of the table and was in some performances. And, uh, and in some performances, both managers would feel, you know, we haven't played well enough to, to be in the top half. So it's both teams still could be either a bottom half team or a top half team. Um, and it's quite a big game on, on Saturday for, for both of us just to uh, you know, it's it's not as though you're gonna go up too many places, but just getting points quickly now will stop you having to try and get points later on. Obviously, Wright and Moore are still suspended. Uh, injury says the squad? Um, I think those two are suspended. Obviously, you've still got the same with Krenners and um, Fozzie, although they're doing very well at the minute. But uh, Fozzie's not training with the first team yet, but Krenners is. Uh, not in uh, contact, but he's doing his crossing and he's doing a lot of running, he's doing a lot of work with the physios. Uh, they're doing great for them, and those two, along with Jan, I have, have worked their socks off to to get into a position where they're now not a million miles away. It's just getting match sharpness. It's, we haven't got time to give them a pre-season, if you like, but uh, you know we're going to try and get them ready as, as soon as we can. Thank you.